Hello. Uh, I'm going to show you how to configure the Hua Villa door station uh, with uh, some few, a few simple steps, even without need of your computer. So it could be any of these variety of Villa door stations. Uh, the process is still the same. So I'm going to focus on this one, VTO to Triple One D, which looks like this, and I can see some some of the highlights about it. Uh, so it's uh, one key highlight is it's powered by PoE so uh, this is the packaging uh, this is how it looks like uh, so Villa outdoor station uh, which uh, comes with some accessories uh, installed ins in inside the box actually then uh, we have the door station itself uh, this is the physical appearance so what I'm going to do is first connect this uh, outdoor station to a power cable uh, then uh, I'll also use, be using this indoor monitor to connect. So stay tuned as I set up. So I'll first connect and then continue. So once everything is connected, uh, I have this cable running to my switch and also this indoor monitor connected to this cable. Uh, they will both power up. So we give it a second as they both power up. So the outdoor station is powering up. While it's powering up, it has to produce that sound, uh, which uh, is typically uh, a sound of uh, like a tamper alarm sound. So we'll uh, use that. Then the the indoor monitor is what I'll be using to do the configuration. So the first thing is I'll select the region. So because I'm in Kenya, so I'll just key in Kenya and such. Of course, it will pop up there. Then I press OK. Uh, then the language, of course, I'll use English. Then I press OK. Then it will prompt me, do you want to do quick configuration, apartment or villa? So we are doing for villa. Then I press OK. Then we have two options, first time or replace. So it is first time. So I say OK. Then once I do that, it will do like a DHCP progress uh, and assign uh, an IP address. But because we don't have it connected to a router, so it will fail, of course. But I'll just keep the IP address that is existent here. So then once I have this IP address, then I go to the next, which will be assigning the password to the indoor monitor. So I'll assign and uh, set it up twice uh, just to confirm and make sure that it is the actual password I'll be using. Then I'll, use, I'll, I'll have to assign an email. This email is only for password recovery reasons. Then the next thing it would ask me is to set the VTO password. So I'll just key in uh, alphanumeric password. Then I confirm that password. Then, of course, it will still reserve that email. Then I go to the next step, which would be to search for, for the devices. So it will ask me to enable multicast function. Uh, then once we have that, so I'll have two, two devices. So, of course, I'll, the first thing would be to initialize this one and this one too. So once you initialize both of them, then you go, you click on next. Once you initialize, it, it assigns device information. So once it assigns, ah, that is now the password that you did set. I can do some editing of the outdoor station. Local IP, I can set it as the main, as the sub, but I'll just maintain this. I'll also, I can also set do time settings right here. Then once I'm done, I press OK. Then press one key, one key config. So once I press one key config, what happens is uh, this indoor monitor, would transfer the configuration to the outdoor monitor and the outdoor monitor will restart so the once the outdoor monitor restarts uh, it sends the it receives that information and then we have so we just give it a second to to restart so it has gone off so we just wait a little bit so uh, it has restarted so we just wait for progress on the indoor monitor screen uh, which will tell us what has exactly happened Uh, so I'm actually waiting. So it 
right the, indo the outdoor station is finishing up the startup uh, process so i give it a second so you see it's the last step uh, of configuration then once we have that uh, this pop-up will just disappear and then uh, we have our complete uh, indoor monitor indoor monitor and outdoor station uh, fun function so I'll I'll bring it here so that we can do the comparison especially for the calling for part and now we have some progress at a hundred percent then it does like this so if you look at the top right here it's showing us that double uh, screen icon which means now it is connected so if someone comes to the gate and press call the call now. button Please in the indoor on. monitor you will receive like a uh, signal uh, you have some someone someone on the door then uh, what you do is just receive and talk to them uh, another thing the is when they call uh, you can Please also unlock the door, the door so, so you can unlock the door for them then uh, now. From the indoor monitor, you can also uh, just click on main video and monitor who is at the main door. So that covers a brief overview of uh, what happens with this video intercom uh, kit for Villa. So one outdoor station and one indoor monitor, quick configuration. Thank you for watching.